Today, I'm gonna to be showing you exactly step-by-step -step on how to start streaming from your PS5. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to drop a like on the video for this cute little Yoshi. So what you wanna do is just go ahead on over to your PS5 homepage, navigate to the top right corner where it says settings. Click settings, and then you're gonna go and scroll all the way down until you see captures and broadcasts. On this setting, go down one more tab to broadcast and you'll see that we actually have quite a few options. We have the video quality, the audio, the camera, the overlays, and chat to speech. So all of these are gonna be useful in terms of broadcasting and streaming to both Twitch and YouTube. So let's take a look at the video quality. The only thing I have to say about the video quality is if you just do a stream and your stream looks very bad or it's very laggy, just go and either lower it or if you have a really nice stream and it's steady, then go ahead and higher the video quality. Mess around with it until you find something that works for you. If you start to experience any like frame drops or lag, make sure your internet connection is strong enough and fast enough to be able to stream at the settings that you have. So if you're trying to stream at 60 FPS or 30 FPS at 1080p, then try lowering it down to 720p in case you experience any lag or latency. But also make sure that if you have the opportunity, use an ethernet cable. Do not try and stream wirelessly because you're going to want to have the fastest speed and the strongest reliable connection. So the best way to accomplish that is by using an ethernet cord. If you can, get an ethernet cord and run it from your router to your PS5. So for the audio tab, it's actually quite simple. All you have to do is toggle whether you want people in your voice chat to be heard on the stream or not, and also make sure that they have their ability to share their voice to be shared. Uh, usually you can find this under the privacy settings. So I'm gonna actually skip over the camera feature just cause I know not a lot of you probably have a webcam, but if you do want a webcam for your PS5, look in the description down below. I'll be linking it there. So for the overlays, you can actually toggle whether you want your chat for your broadcast to show up, which would be quite useful for you. Um, otherwise, you can do display activity, which will show the activity on your stream. And then you can actually choose where that actually shows up with the overlay position. So right now we have it set for the bottom right, but if you'd like to toggle a different area of the screen, you can change it there. So what you wanna do is boot up a game that you wanna stream, hit the create button, which is on the left side of your controller, click the broadcast button. Now you'll see, at least for YouTube, enter a title, description, tags, and you change your privacy setting. This is only available for the YouTube portion, for Twitch, you're just able to enter a title and then you can simply go live. So it's actually quite easier if you're streaming to Twitch. So what you wanna do is if you're streaming in YouTube, just make sure to change the privacy from private to public, depending on if you wanna have it a private stream or a public stream. Most of you are probably gonna want public. So if you're on YouTube, go ahead and do that. But let's go ahead and take a look at some of the options. So this is actually really nice. This is a little quick menu that you can go to instead of navigating all the way back to your original settings. So the here, you can change all the settings that you could change there, including the video quality, the chat, the camera, all that good stuff. So you don't have to go all the way back there. It's, it's actually quite convenient, but we wanna to stream to Twitch. So let's go and hit change service. Now let's go ahead and hit Twitch this time. If you're a first time user, you're gonna to have to link your Twitch account. If you don't have a Twitch account, make a Twitch account, follow the instructions and link it. It's quite simple. Once you're done doing that, boot up your game you wanna stream, go hit the create button, go back to the little live settings that we just went over. And all you have to do now is actually just enter in a title and then hit go live. It's actually really that simple. There's not that too much to it. So now when you're done, you just hit create button again, you go to broadcast, and now you have the option of choosing to pause your broadcast or stop streaming altogether. So it's entirely up to you, but that's simply how you end your stream as well. This channel is all about helping brand new streamers just like you, so if that sounds good, make sure to subscribe for more videos.